This is the first clip in a sequence of screencasts that I'm going to produce to talk about drawing techniques within Microsoft PowerPoint. Now the techniques I'm going to show you will work in PowerPoint, Word, Excel, exactly the same. I'm just using PowerPoint because I think that's the slightly easiest of the three to use. So what I'm going to do is first of all show you what it is we're trying to avoid. So if I go on to the next page, When I see presentations and somebody's showing a flowchart and I see something that looks like this, and obviously I've exaggerated it for effect, I find it very frustrating. And it's something where, in the days of old, before computers, people would use a pen and a ruler and they'd draw some very neat diagrams. Now that computers have come along, we should be able to make uh, the quality of our diagrams even better. But a lot of people, they can't because they haven't learned some simple skills. So if I look at this simple diagram here, which shows a, a planning cycle, I've got boxes of different sizes, I've got arrows which don't join up to the boxes and they're not uh, straight, uh, that one overlaps and then when I've come to do uh, a corner arrow I've done it with two lines and they don't meet up at the end and that arrow is a different thickness and the text there is Times New Roman and the other one is Calibri and the text within the box doesn't line up. All these little things which look slightly messy. And What I'm going to show you is an alternative that's an alternative. It's exactly the same information in exactly the same sorts of positions but it's just been formatted a lot better. So what I've done here is I've changed the colours to make it a little bit easier to see so rather than just going for the default blue I've changed it to a light yellow. I've got all my boxes the same size, all of the text is the same size, it's the same font, it's all centrally aligned within the shape. All of my arrows they align exactly in the middle of my boxes and they go right up to the edges, they don't drop short or overlap and my boxes are evenly distributed so they're all evenly spaced and then these are nicely aligned with each other and I think you'll agree that there's a big difference between that diagram and this diagram and over the sequence of the next few screencasts I will show you the skills that you need to be able to produce something that looks like this and then in a later series we'll look at ways in which you can then turn this into an interactive learning 